And they say it's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> the Benjamins came by your love, baby. What? Mm -hmm. Money buys the penthouse on the 14th floor. Money keeps your woman coming back for more. Money drives the Lexus, money ain't got no walk. Money speaks no evil, but uh, my money talks. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, hello, of course. My name is Chunky the Gamer. Or you call me Jay, whatever you're feeling that wonderful, miraculous, marvelous day. But if you are a OG, Bobby Josh, Thug Dizzle for Shizzle, E Gizzle, My Nizzle. What is up, my chunky babies? And a welcome back to Money Something Something on the 14th floor. Anyways, welcome back to the Players Club. <laughs> Y'all know I have not did this LP in a minute because I had the streamers mod up in here. And I was just like, yeah. I forgot about this series that quick because I've been thinking about streaming and other stuff. But I might as well push back our Players Club. I got so much going on, y'all. Like, I got some stuff in the works. I'm about to be ending some LPs. I'm about to probably start, like, probably one more LP. But I'm ending some very shortly. So, don't be surprised if your favorite LP is gone missing. No bad boys is still coming, y'all. I have to get rid of the bad girls because I'm getting ready. And I'm about to tell y'all on this episode, I am getting ready to do Bad Girls Club Wild Wild West. Yes, y'all. The bad girls are going to the ranch, y'all. Hee-haw! Okay? So, I'm letting y'all know on this episode, and I'm going to put it down in the description. If you want your bad girl to try out for a bad girls club wild wild west, all you gotta do is I'm gonna put my email down and you better make sure you send me every CC on that baby. If I don't have it, let me know. Let me see how she look. And there we go. Also, y'all have to do audition tapes. I'm not doing nam audition tape but for my babies that I'm doing the LP for. My babies that's going in that Bad Girls Club is getting a personal uh, audition tape from me. And y'all can use y'all voices. I don't want no texting on the thing or nothing. I better hear voices, okay? So, again, I say, if you want your Bad Girl Club, well, if you want your Bad Girls to be in the Bad Girls Club Wild Wild West, that is definitely coming. It's not coming right now, y'all. But it's coming very soon. Once I get done with Bad Boys... Oh, best believe y'all gonna get a sneak preview at the Bad Boys Club reunion of Bad Girls Club Wild Wild West. Baby, when I say I am preparing, I am preparing. So again, this is your last warning. If you want your bad girl to be in Bad Girls Club Wild Wild West, I will put my email at the in the description. You better make sure you have her audition tape, all her CC, and I need you to tell me what makes her a bad girl, and why should she be in the house? You can even put it in the video. I don't care. But it better be all together. Okay? All right? We cool? Okay, then let's go ahead and get to this LP. <laughs> so, you guys, this is 
the last introduction of the players club intros and then we are definitely going to get into the life of the scrippers because again y'all are going to see the most chaotic most craziest stuff that y'all have never seen ever in this lp i have to take my streamer mod um i have to take my streamers mod out because it has a lot of explicit things that y'all really need to see when they go to the strip club and stuff like that. But that's for my Patreon eyes only. Also, if you're not subscribed to the Patreon, then what are you doing, okay? Because the early access people, they get to see this before anybody get to see back, uh, get to see Players Club. As soon as it pops up on Patreon, they are the first people to look. And it's only if you are a Patreon, okay? It's free after, like, probably two weeks. But uh, other than that, you got to wait. But if you impatient, you might as well, you know, just sub, you know, be a Patreon. I'm going to have to get back on my Patreon to start posting my Sims, y'all. I know. I've been doing such a bad job. Don't judge me. But my work schedule going to be a little bit better and I'll be able to provide everything y'all need. Okay? Cool call. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this LP. But... Again, this is the last scripper that I am introducing y'all to. And then also in this episode, because this episode is going to be a little long because I had, I forgot to introduce y'all to the owner of the club. I should have did that at the beginning of the video. I feel so stupid. I should have did that at the beginning of the whole entire series. I just, it slipped my head, but Y'all are definitely going to meet Uncle Clifford. Y'all going to get to see Uncle Clifford in the flesh, how he's living, how you, you know, how he run the strip club, all that. Y'all, we about to see the whole nine yards because every time we go to the strip club, we never see him. Y'all going to get to see him today. Y'all get to meet the owner. But this is Miss Diamond Hook, you guys. Miss Diamond Hook is the, you might as well say she diamond off a of player's club. You know, she heard about player's club from... Um, Sugar Tush, which was made by my best friend, Peace Side Posey. Make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel because she's actually about to post her first video very soon. And y'all know I'm excited. Um, their best friends, of course, hold on, let me, um, her name is Tia. I think, y'all, let me see. Yeah, her name is Tia, which she should be, there she go. This is her best friend, y'all. So Tia is a dancer as well as well at um players club and she introduced diamond to you know to to the players club basically and you know diamond wasn't really looking for nothing she wanted to just have a job on the side because she is supporting her little sister which this is the shayla hooks the shayla is in custody of diamond because unfortunately their mother is on drugs and she is walking the streets which y'all would not meet her in this episode hopefully y'all don't bump into her but she does live in a trap house it's a lot that goes on in diamond's world diamond goes through a lot and diamond is trying to get into school and you know she really just she doesn't she wants to go to school, but then she don't want to dance all her life. So it's just like, you know, she has to be able to provide for her and her little sister as well. And, you know, she wants to try to get her mom sober. But she also wants to go to school. She actually wants to be a veterinarian. She wants to open up her own vet. And, you know, she has a she has a love for animals. And that's what she's going to school for, to be a veterinarian. And, I mean stripping stripping is not going to be her life and that's what that's not what she want but it was easy money at the time and it was just something for her to do and it was just something real slight real light but then it turned into something more and she started getting more tips and she was just like you know what i'm gonna be here for a while diamond brings over two 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 how much hold on diamond brings over twenty thousand dollars home i i crap y'all not y'all when I say this little girl bad, and I wasn't even about to whoop her, I'm going to yell at her. I, I am. I am really going to yell at her. Because if I if I reach my hand and not cut into 10 buck 2 y'all going to holler at me. And be like, Chucky, why did you hit that little girl? They need to get a, a butt whooping mod. And see, I almost cussed. They really and truly need a butt whooping mod. 
Because when I say I was literally about to put my hands on this child, I was about to reach back. Seriously, I was about to reach back real bad. And I was about to rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's my version of getting your ass whooped. Because I they don't have the mod for it. So what else can I do? You know, it ain't it ain't no harm. I ain't abusing the baby. I'm just showing her. Do it again. And I'ma pop you until tomorrow. That, that, now that's that that's that soul that's that soulful talk. That's the talks when you be in a uh, grocery store and your mama be like, if you touch anything, I'ma knock you down. And you be like, Yes, mama. And then you end up touching something. Guess what? She didn't pop you, she didn't hit you in the head. Then you got your sass whoop when you got home. Okay? <laughs> that's the kind of whooping she be needing. Because she be trying me and Diamond Patience. And one thing I don't like is my patience being tried. But anyways, I'm sorry, y'all. So, the Shayla's talking to her sister. She's just telling her how school was yesterday because, again, Diamond does work at night. So, she tries really hard to be here for the Shayla or, you know, try to be active when the Shayla is home. But, you know, sometimes she can. Sometimes, in all honesty, she can really, you know, by the time the Shayla get out of school. Where did you put the food? Hello? Why did you put it right there? But by the time the Shayla gets out of school, Diamond, you know, Diamond is still at the club. And the Shayla, she knows how to, you know, operate the house by herself. Because, again, you know, Diamond is a young lady. She's, like, in her 20s. She's a fresh 21-year-old. So she just, like, I'm not going to say she just getting out of high school, but... You know, she's young. She's fresh, you know. This wasn't a responsibility that she was supposed to take. We don't know what necessarily happened to her mom. We don't know why it happened to her mom. It's going to later come out into the, in the series, of course. But for right now, this is the two that y'all going to meet. I'm just really hoping that her mom does not pop up because the one time I was playing up here and her mom popped up, they got into an argument, they got into a huge fight because one thing, Diamond does not like her mom. She doesn't, like, I had to try to refresh they, um, they relationship and she still didn't. It, it just, I don't know, I guess it's the bad aura. I'm just kind of like, okay, well, we just gonna leave it alone. But... Today is Sunday in the game, so what are we going to do is, do y'all have a thermostat? Because this, you know, I got the seasons pack now, so at first I wasn't worried about the uh, thermostats, but I've been getting to where my Sims will be in the house trembling and acting crazy, and they would be like, oh, you're trying to hurt us, and he would be like, dang, brother. I didn't know you was going like I didn't know all of this was going on. So I have a put I have to put a thermostat in every house now because either they're gonna freeze to that or they're gonna get hot as hell up in there and they're gonna end up, you know, to the upper room. And nobody can I not click it? Hello? Oh my god. Let me tell y'all something. My game There we go. Okay, my game has been like really doing majiggerous stuff. And I don't understand why. Okay, now that should work. Okay, can we click it now? Is it clickable? Why is this not hello? Maybe it's the um it's a yeah, it's functional. Did do we not see the word functional? I'm a little confused on why it's not working all of a sudden. Okay, well, we're just going to do this one. Did this one work? Hello? Why I can't click this? Oh, my God, bro. I do not. I'm not about to deal with this today. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. If they end up freezing to death, y'all, that was not my fault. I'm just letting y'all know this in deep advance. Well, maybe if I put it upstairs, possibly in, like, the hallway or something... You know, because sometimes the uh, AC unit stuff be like in the hallway when you like going to your room or something. So, I'm going to just try to, I'm going to just put it up here. I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm just going to put it up there. Hopefully, I can access it. If I can't access it, then 
I really, at this point, I think it's this house. And don't get me wrong, I love SimCity Girls' house. But for this to not be working, I'm just, uh, there you go, reset. So it, it knows it's right here. It, it can tell, it's telling me that it's right here. But it's not letting me, I don't know at this point. I, I don't know. I'm not about to worry with it. I'm really not. So, anyways, is she doing her homework? Is this homework? Uh -huh. I'm proud of her. Okay. So, yes. young mams is doing, young mams, I said, I didn't say ma'am, man, I said young mams. Young mams is doing her homework. Oh, yeah. Diamond's about to clean the house. She got a lot of, like, clothes and stuff to do because, you know, once she get off of work, y'all, Diamond comes home and Diamond crashes so bad. Like, she... She be so freaking tired. It don't make no sense. This room is, uh, what is this? I'm gonna have to fix this too, y'all. I haven't came up in here and did nothing to the rooms. I just slapped it down in here. But this is her room right here. This is just an extra bedroom for just in case somebody want to come spend the night. But I do have to replace this bed and put another one down because, um, how the bed is made, it's not sleepable. So I just gotta tweak it. It's just it's nothing too particular. I should have gave y'all a tour, but in this case, there it go. It's working. I don't know why I was tripping. <laughs> I knew it was gonna work. I just had to give it time. That's why I was like, I wasn't worried about it. I was gonna give it some time. But this is young Shui room. Um, this is her little bed right here. She has a little area. She be getting on the computer and stuff. Like this is her room. This is her little area she do be watching tv which i gotta replace the tv when i come up in here but this is her area she has like a game and stuff um uh, this again is where um diamond sleeps diamond room is a little bit more simpler she loves it up in here this is her room and then again this is just the guest room for if anybody want to come over sometimes if her mom does come over and she's a little bit sober then yeah she could come over and stay tonight but her mom likes to steal and diamond worked really hard to get into this house with the money with her stripping and the money she had saved up this is the house that she ended up getting so you know she'd be damned if her mama come up in here and start stealing because she gonna have to hurt her mama like seriously so i'm proud of you so Miss Mams, the Shayla's done with her stuff, so she's gonna actually come over here and she's gonna watch some TV. Watch a let me see, what is there to watch? I would tell her to watch a movie, but don't nothing really be going on, so I'm actually just gonna get her to watch Comedy Central. I didn't know I had Comedy Central on here. Hello, cat. Oh, okay, so she's gonna watch some Cleveland show while Diamond get her stuff together. Diamond been wanted to, you know, get her out the house because you know. Is it the summertime? No, it's fall. They just got out of summer. So tomorrow is the last, well, today is the last day of her um, going, being in summer, it, like being in the summer because, you know, they don't go to school during the summer. So she goes back to school tomorrow. So Diamond's just like, okay, I'm going to, you know, cater to my sister and, you know, take her out. I feel like, you know, she always cooped up in the house and, you know, I don't get to really spend time with my sister like that because I'm always at work. So, it's one something in the mor in the morning. It's one something in the evening, and she's definitely about to take her little sister out. They got, like, an arcade and some more stuff in town. And, you know, she just want to spend more time with her sister because, again, all she do is work. By the time she get home, the Shayla is asleep. Sometimes. Because it's been times where... She has came home, and DeShayla is up waiting on her. And she be telling her, like, you know, don't worry about me. I told you I was coming home. Like, I don't want you to be worried. Most days, she is actually asleep. Other days, well, most days, she be up. Other days, DeShayla be a no knocked out, like, slumped, okay? So, she's actually going to take her. I would take her to Boomer's. But I have to do, uh, I got to refix the menu for Boomers because the menu they got is, um, is fries and stuff. And I don't like, well, let me see. Um, all right, y'all. So we are at Boomers. I decided to go ahead and take her here because 
I feel like she'll have a little bit more fun here than anything. It's an arcade. And plus, on top of that, you know, they are able to sit down and eat some food. Regardless of the fact of me having to come up in here and change the food into something that is a bit more... Pe I can change it now. That ain't nothing but God. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, I don't think she... They gonna like the food here because... Okay, y'all, so now that that menu is fixed up, we can actually come up in here and enjoy a nice meal, y'all, okay? Because, again, I was really dreading that menu, and I was like, nah, I'm not getting jiggy with that. So, we are here. Y'all, I thought that was the Shayla. I was about to say, what in God's green earth is really going on? So, Dom is about to come in here. She's about to order them a table. Um... While she's ordering she's the table, the Shayla decides that she want to come and play a game, at least because she waiting on her sister to get the table. So, the Shayla just found them a table, I hope. See, and I did not want you to put us in this little corner right here. They could have put us somewhere else. Okay, I'm not even tripping about it no more. So, are you pissing on yourself up in there, child? She ain't missing the toilet and whatnot. Or him. But anyways, Dom is just checking on to Shayla. She just like, you know, has everything honestly been good at school? She like, yes, mom. mom. Yes, sis, everything's been good at school. And she's just like, okay, I'm just checking. She's just like, have you talked to mom? She's like, no, I haven't talked to mom. She's like, is she ever going to come over? And she's just like, I, I don't know the Shayla. I can't really say because, you know, I don't know when she's going to come over. You know, she's sick, so... You know, ooh, we might get this. Okay, so I just seen this menu. I'm talking about, ooh, we're going to get this. So we're going to get Miss Ma'am's a lemonade. And the Shayla got her a drink. Uh, ooh, the Shayla look like saying, ooh, we got some oysters. They got some good stuff, <laughs> even though I just did this. So Dom is going to get the salmon. And the Shayla's gonna get the chicken. Mm. Oh my god, they are so funny. So she's just like, you know, go ahead and go, you know, play some games. You know, go have some fun. I'm just sit here and, you know, see if I gotta go to work tonight. And she's just like, okay, no problem. So she's about to come over here and definitely. Okay, well, no, how about not that? So we're gonna go over here and play the game. So, the Shayla. So, Dom is going to go ahead and get the food together. She didn't got with the waiter. She just like, well, this is what we want. Thank you so much. And he's just like, thank you. And she's like, no problem. And he kind of looking at her. He's a regular at the club, y'all. So, he kind of looking at her a little bit funny. But one thing about her, she don't mix business with pleasure. So, she just like, no, you don't know me. So, don't be looking over here. She's actually about to FaceTime Tia. And she's about to ask her, like, hey, girl, you going to be at work tonight? And Tia, like, you already know. Are you coming in tonight? She's just like, probably, probably not. It all depends because, you know, I haven't spent time with my sister. And it's been a minute since I actually took her out to go do something. And she's just like, it's understandable. You know, I see your mama the other day begging for some money. And she's just like, Tia. And she's like, girl, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. But she's like, look, enjoy your day with your sister. And just let me know when you get here. So they said their goodbyes. Diamond just irritated because I'm telling y'all, once I meet her mom, y'all going to be like, are you serious? Like, her mom is so pretty, but the drugs that she do is honestly unbelievable. Like, it will really upset somebody to see their mama like this. And she doesn't want the Shayla to see her, you know, see their mom in such a manner, you know? So, that's why she kind of keeps everything away or that away from her because, you know, she's just like, I don't want my sister to see you in this light. So, when she do try to come over, Diamond normally cusses her mama out. She's just like, don't come over here with that. You need to chill out. You need to calm down. Like, we don't need to have all that. Your daughter don't need to see you like this. So, you know, the last time she came over and pulled that stunt, you know, the Shayla actually seen her mom. And it was just a whole big scene, y'all. And I was playing literally by myself. I wasn't recorded or nothing. It was just sad to see their mom like that. And the Shayla started crying. And she wanted to, you know, she asking questions and stuff. 
And what Di Diamond couldn't really do nothing. Diamond was just stuck. Because she's just like, I was not expecting you to come here. Especially in these conditions of how you're coming here. She wasn't expecting that. So, she was riled up. She was upset. She was mad as heck. It was that bad. But... She don't really come often like that anymore because of Diamond really cussing her out and telling her off. But, I mean, sometimes Tia will see her, you know, on passing by because sometimes she do be prostituting outside of the club. And, you know, Uncle Cliff will be having to tell her, Diamond, you need to come get your, your mama because she out here doing that stuff. And Diamond will get really mad because it's just like, bro, not at my place of work. You are doing a lot. But that's another time for another story because we definitely going to be getting into that probably the first episode or the second episode. I don't know who life I'm going to go and take, but I just never know. So, obviously they having a good time. She just changed into her little workout outfit because, I mean, she just having a good time. The Shayla's just like, thank you so much, Dama, for taking me here. She's just like, no problem. Now, you know, I got to go to work tonight. So, what the heck? Hello? I hate when that happens. So, is there food coming? Oh, my God. So, is there food coming? Hello? Is there food not coming? They're hungry. So, it's just like, y'all need to, I'm going to go ahead and order it again because it didn't. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. I think that's our food. I want to say that's our, that is not our food. Okay, well, let me go ahead and order again because... It just seems as though they forgot our food. So, we're going to try this again. And I guess we're just going to get us another drink. Uh, well, she was going to get the strawberry margarita, but we're going to get a night rose. Oh. Oh, okay. So, their food is coming. Okay, okay. So, I thought it was a, a little situation going on. I was about to surely and truly go off. But, okay, they're bringing the food. So... Deshayla decided that she just had to go to the restroom before her food come. Why is everybody so mad? I'm a little confused. It did nobody clean it up? Like, y'all just gonna let the dishes pile up? Like, what are y'all here for? I hope this is not the lady coming to bring our food. Okay, yeah, she looks real mad. No. Why is our food not here? Hello? Y'all need to come with our food. See? It's the waiters here. Y'all about to piss me off. And I'm about to really tear y'all off because y'all should have been brought our food here. Oh, he talking about the food is nasty, child. Oh, my God. I'm going to get them to play a little bit more games before they food come. Because I see it's only one chef back here. And don't get me wrong. He, he going fast as what he can. Is that our food? I hope that's our food. Please let this be our food. Where is our food? Y'all have been delivering food to everybody else, but y'all have not came to us. Like, who is this for? Let me see. Is this our food? Because I really wouldn't mind stealing somebody's plate. All right. I'm telling y'all, if I don't get, if we don't get our food, Diamond is going to go off. Look, <laughs> the sailor keeps going to the table like, is the food here yet? Like, she hungry. Diamond is about to go off because she just like, okay, I've been playing this game a little bit too long. Our food still haven't came. The waiters are just kind of really just standing here. So I really need to know what's going on before I really lose my mind. Like, come on now. They didn't order their food and everything, and it's not letting me get them anything else. So y'all should be bringing the food out immediately. I think this is our food. She better have turned this. Heck no. I'm about to go off. Look how dirty the, look how dirty that is. And y'all expect for us to, no. Our food better come on. And I so mean it. Like, now I'm about to get mad. The Shayla, you, <laughs> we about to go. That's what's about to happen. She about to come over here again. She just like, dang, the Shayla, the food haven't came. She just like, no, I've been sitting here waiting on the food. I'm hungry. And she just like, look, oh, okay. Because I was about to lash off. And you better not drop it. Please don't drop our food. Because I will really. Thank you. Goodness. Okay. Okay. Whew. So finally their food is here. And they're going to go ahead and enjoy it. That looks so freaking good. 
Like, hold on, y'all. Look at that. That do look amazing. Shout out to SNS for the amazing food that they do, okay? God dang, she was thirsty. Well, go ahead and eat your food, too. It's some chicken wings, okay? And she got the salmon. Dang! You came quick over here to get that. I'm telling y'all, I was about to go off. But anywho, now they're happy. They're eating and stuff, and they're just having a conversation. She's just like, what time are you her going to work, sis? She doesn't know where her sister works at. Her sister told her she just have a night job, and it does require for her to stay overtime sometimes. And, you know, she understands that what that says. Sweet and delicious. So she about, she about to be lit at work, okay? She about to be getting all the money. So she's just like, I'm not going to be long tonight, I promise you, because I know you got to go to school in the morning. And she's just like, I want to make sure I get you together and get your food and get your snacks ready so when you go to school, she's like, okay, no problem. Or you can just do it tonight before you go to work. She's just like, I know, baby, but... You know, your sister got to make this money so we could be I able to some. live, you know, live better. <laughs> oh, She's just God. like, I understand, sis. So how long are you going to be? She's like, I'm not going to be long. I'm probably going to be back way before you even go to school, okay? But I need to make sure that you're going to go to sleep when I leave. She's like, I promise you I'm going to be sleeping. She's like, I'm so serious. Like, for the past couple of nights, you have not been sleeping right. She's like, I know, I know. She's like, no, I mean it. Like. I need you to sleep right tonight, okay, Deshayla? She's like, okay, I am. She's like, okay, well, let me go use the restroom. And then after that, we're going to definitely go ahead and go. So go ahead and get you a little bit more playtime in while I'm in the restroom, okay? So sometimes Deshayla doesn't like being at the house by herself. She really does love her sister, and she always wants to be around her sister. And she doesn't like when her sister goes to work. But she understands that, you know, she got to make that money. So, she not too stressed about it. Or she not too worried about it. But she just still, you know, she want her sister to be home at all times, you know. So, she finally finished the game. She just like, are you ready to go? She just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Oh, my God. Not in here. This is one of her mom's homegirls coming up in here trying to be a prostitute. This is so freaking annoying. I promise you it is. She's just like, I cannot believe this. I need to get my little sister out of here. We are about to go home. Okay, yes. We about to go home. Because why are you coming up here in the kids' establishment? Strip, like being a prostitute. Then she don't have bottoms on. Y'all, I am not for the crap. I just really not. Like, come on. Like, look at her. And they, oh my God, they looking at her. Drop it low. And they cheering her on. Okay, we ready to go. We ready to go. Is that Jabari? Nah, Jabari in here. No, we leaving. Yes, we are leaving now. She's just like, yeah, I don't even, you know... Let my little sister know what I do. And you bringing this to a children's environment. Yeah, it's time for us to go. So she's now irritated. So when she see her mama, she definitely going to let her mama know. You need to tell your coworkers to stop, you know, popping up at environments where children actually go and, you know, enjoy themselves. Like, that is ridiculous. You over there stripping and prostituting at a children's place crazy but it might have been her mama her mama can honestly do it too so it's just like they have no boundaries but anywho i'm gonna see y'all once they get home because after that the um the shayla will should be going to sleep at this time and diamond should be going to work so she getting there a little late but i'm gonna see y'all when she get home okay y'all so they are did she get food poisoning oh racing thoughts okay yeah because her little sister is adhd so you know, she do be having the moments where her mind gets erasing or, you know, she be having irrational thoughts. So don't don't look at it as a bad thing, y'all, I promise. It's just that's how her little sister is. So she did her homework, I think. Yeah, she did her homework for the day. So Diamond's just like to Shayla, go ahead and get yourself together because, you know, I'm about to go to work. She's like, I'm end up taking a little bitty nap, but... I definitely want you to, you know, go ahead and get yourself together because once you get in the shower, I'm going to go ahead and go, okay? And she's just like, okay. 
you have a good night be safe sis it's just like you know i'm gonna always be safe but i want to make sure that you get yourself together so i can be i you know i can rest tonight or i can be good at work knowing that you are in here asleep she's just like okay so she getting herself together and she about to go to sleep and then once diamond wake up from her nap you guys because again she had a long day with her sister she actually enjoyed spending time with her sister so once she wake up y'all again it's a little late she gonna try not to be at the club all night but y'all know once the money starts to... hello girl not the monsters under her bed Please. Please. How can we fix this? Hello? <laughs> Talk to them. See what they say. The Shayla. The Shayla. She about to go to her. She like, she like bump talking to them. She like the Shayla. Wake up. I mean, she like Diamond. Wake up. They got monsters under my bed. Diamond's just like, what? Girl, I'm trying to take a nap. She's like, no, sis, I'm serious. They had monsters under my bed. Look. Look, she's spraying them. She's just like, girl, please. Oh, no. I just really want you to go to sleep. Like, seriously. Oh, snurb. She like, who are you talking to, Deshayla? She just like, the monsters under my bed. Do you not see them? She's like, no, I don't see the monsters. But she did make friends with them. So, she don't know. <laughs> she like, can I sleep in your bed or can I sleep in the other room, please? She just like, I'm telling you, you better go to sleep. Now I have to stay here so you can go to sleep. She just like, but Diamond, I'm going to go to sleep, I promise. She's like, no, I need you to try to go to sleep now. I'm so serious. Like, Deshayla, go to sleep. She like, well, can I sleep in your room at least? She just like, fine, go ahead, go sleep in my bed. She's like, okay, I like your bed better. And she's just like, oh my god. So she's going to sleep in her. <laughs> she got to sleep in her sister's bed for the night, <sighs> spoiled as ever. But the uh, diamond's about to go to work. So y'all know the drill. Patreon, I'ma see y'all there. For the ones who ain't with Patreon, I'ma see y'all when she get back from the script club. So y'all. Diamond didn't bring a lot home today in her eyes, but she normally bring more. She br normally bring more home, but she was out with her sister, so it's fine. And she got to the club late, but she brought down. But she brought back sixteen thousand three hundred and eight simoleons, which again, that's not bad to say that she did three lap dances. And you know, at the end, the tip out with the bar and stuff like that. You know, they distribute their money how they do. So she's about to come up here, y'all. She is starving. All that dancing she be doing, y'all. She is, she be starving. Oh, uh, what's her name? Took the uh food. Uh, so her sister never sees her like this. When normally when Diamond come home, she changes into her regular outfit, and that's how she comes home in her in a regular outfit. But with her sister being Ooh, at school. In Korea. She just like, look, I'm already freaking tired. She didn't feel like putting nothing else on. She just like, look, I'm just going to come and what I got going on. And I mean, I will, she, you know, I'm going to take a bath whenever I get home. And that's what she's doing right now. That's what she's going to do. So she's going to make the food. And we're actually, where are you going with this? Please, where? I hate that they do that. Put it right there, at least, or something. Matter of fact, put it right there. Or sometimes they can't reach it. Okay. So, she's going to go ahead and get her something to eat. Again, she's hungry. She's about to take a shower and stuff. And, y'all, uh, Diamond about to be knocked out, okay? She's about to be KO'd. Believe me when I say that. Knocked out is is very... It's a, it, she about to be KO'd up here knocked out and her sister did make the bed thank you so much Deshayla. so i'm going to see you guys actually once she get in the bed we're gonna go visit uncle clifford so y'all going to get to see him his life kind of get into the mix over here because as y'all can see her mom has not came over here and that would have been a whole mess in itself but i just wanted y'all again this is the introductions of everything and i just wanted y'all to introduce y'all to diamond diamond's really peaceful i promise y'all but she has a crazy life behind it 
and it's very mind-boggling that it has not like it hasn't opened up yet but she did cuss her mama out so bad so well her mama don't even come over here no more like that so that's probably why we haven't seen her she also thinking she might not go to the club tonight she might do it just all depends on how she sleep because again y'all she is miserably tired she had a long day at the club it was a lot of rumping a lot of shaking all that so with that being said i'm going to see y'all once we get to uncle clifford's house so y'all can see the chaotic life of uncle freaking clifford so i'm gonna see y'all once we get to his house all right y'all so i want to introduce y'all to the baddest sitch in the land of my youtube ultimate save none other than uncle clifford okay uncle clifford is the top ceo top dog top whatever you want to call him okay he's the one that be running that club and he's the one he's the president of the bad sitches i know tay eric and tay who do hell is the president of the bad b-i-t-c-h's but uncle clifford is the president of the bad sitches okay he's the one that run that club he's the one who hand picked those strippers okay I'm telling y'all, he had to pick them. He did the interviews and everything, child. He made sure that when y'all come in this club, y'all gonna spend some money. Y'all, I'm gonna make sure y'all spend money. Why? Because these some top A strippers, okay? Okay. So, this is Uncle Clifford, you guys. Um, I didn't do much to his house, y'all. I, I promise you I did. Now, I did a little bit of decorating. Kind of gave it that, you know, that old school kind of sort of black love kind of feel to it but also you know kind of bougie you know he's giving you a little bougetto kind of basic still but it's still giving what it's supposed to give i ain't gonna give y'all a tour but he lives in evergreen harbor so he does live in the hood you guys but he has enough money to show that, you know, he is that cigar, okay? He's that sitch and he's that cigar. And with that cigar and that sitch to become one, it gives you that cigar. I'm sorry, y'all. I listened to Duran Burner a little bit too much. <laughs> but anyways, this is his home. This is the downstairs. And then also this is the upstairs. Uh, this is his room where he does come up in here and he hands pick out. And he sometimes handcrafts these women clothing. Now, I got to get the, um, it's a sewing mod or something like that. Or a sewing thing where he can actually come up in here and sew their clothes. I don't know who got that, but y'all let me know in the comments who. Because I'm trying to get that. Um, this is just another area to like, sometimes the girls do, some girls do want to come spend the night when they're having a moment. Or one of them is actually going through some things. And y'all going to see that throughout the series. Like, it's something really bad like crazy bad so definitely sometimes she do crash over here and this is uncle clifford's room it's very glittery it's giving you very much i am the melanin queen you better hear me roar type of thing you know i wanted to give him something i wanted to give him a look okay I wanted to give it very flashy and classy so what we're gonna do today is y'all because he has not been in the club and let me tell y'all, with him not being in the club, I just got the report back of how much the club is making. Somebody is stealing. I'm telling y'all right now, somebody is stealing from his club because he is negative 7,000 in the hole. So it's just like, y'all bringing this money. Um, How are y'all bringing this money? And I'm not making a full profit. Child, somebody up in there stealing. So he definitely about to go and... Figure out who it is. He about to collect somebody because somebody getting fired. Because ain't no way that we bring it home that much. We ain't bringing home that money. $7,000 negative? What are y'all doing? So he definitely about to go to the club tonight and he's going to find out. Because again, ain't no way we make all this money. And for some odd reason, $7,000 negative? nah not at all that don't even sound right in my eyes because ain't no way ain't no way ain't no way my boy so 
he's about to get his stuff together. He's in the shower now. And then also we're about to eat some food. I don't think he cooked. No, he didn't cook. Um, I did have the cookbook here, but I guess it, uh, I guess I took it out. I don't know why I would have taken it out. And y'all, he do have a pool out here, y'all. He, he be having his moments where some people do come over and visit him. Like, hello? So, he done brushed his teeth. He about to eat him some doodles. And y'all, we are about to go to the Players Club. Because, again, we trying to figure out why in the hell we ain't making them. Why Why is our money looking funny? And one thing about Uncle Clifford, when the money looking funny, is something ain't right. Two, two plus two equals four, and four plus four equals eight. But somehow I'm getting 34. And I don't know how I'm getting 34. But one thing's for sure, I don't like it. Yes, y'all, Uncle Clifford smokes the chimneys, okay? He smokes like crazy. And I'm surprised he ain't had a cigarette now. But he definitely about to have a cigarette once he done eating his food. Because he haven't had one all day. And he just like, I know I'm about to go to this club. And these is just about to bother me so bad. He just like, I am so, he dreads it. He, sometimes he don't really like going up there because it's just, it's it's a headache. And it gives him headaches. But you know what? We about to come and we about to see why our money looking funny. And we about to see what the heck is going on because ain't no way. Again, I'm $7,000 I'm $7, in the hole. One of you, one of you so silly. Oh, I'm about to cuss. See, I'm thinking I'm all got oh, darn twitch. Yeah, One of you souls is still, yeah. still in it. We're definitely about to find out. So, I'm going to see y'all once he gets to the script club. But that's only for the Patreon. Everybody else, I'll see y'all when he get home. All right, y'all. So, Uncle Clifford and Elise is at Chinatown Restaurant. And yeah, what you have been fined for Damn, what? No, Too much water, water consumed. Oh. Y'all are whack. Y'all are whack is I don't know what. Okay, Elise, baby. She puts it on, okay? Point blank, period. Now, for the ones that don't have my Patreon and don't know what's going on, Elise did pull Uncle Clifford to the side and was just like, hey, they had a guy that came to the club the other day. He had on all pink, and he was looking for you. She said that he stood at the club all day. Asking for Uncle Clifford, Blue trying green. to see who Uncle Clifford was, trying to talk to him. And Uncle Clifford wasn't at, he wasn't there. So, as y'all know, well, y'all don't know because y'all not subscribed to my Patreon. Elise is the bartender, but she is the second eyes that is at the club. So, she basically tells him the 411 and she actually has sit downs with him. And they went, they, you know, they go over different things and, you know, they do have their meetings and stuff. So, he's just like, you know, how has everything been since I haven't been up there? And she's just like, everything has been honestly good. Um, the girls have really been doing an amazing job. You know, I haven't been having any, dis you know, that any doubts or faults in anything. And he's like, that's good. How has, you know... Not him smoking up in here. I'm letting him have his cigarette. They allow for people to smoke, so it's fine. So he's just like, you know, how is it with the uh with the other two, tr trouble and double? And he's talking about Simone and uh Triana. And she's just like, you know, they haven't been really doing anything. The last time I could really think about something is Triana did get into a disagreement with one of the girls. I think it was Misty. And they actually got into a physical fight. And he's just like, Ugh. she's like, I really think you need to fire them. He's just like, I really don't want to fire them because they are veterans in there. Like, they they been in the club. And, you know, I don't want to lose my, you know, my sugar mamas in the club because everybody, you know, they fool with them. Like, I'm not going to say they the head, B, they the head B-I-T-C-H's up in there, you know, the head COs, but, you know, they some old heads. That's the ones that been stripping up in there before the young ones even came to even think about coming. And she's just like, you, I, I get it. Like, don't get me wrong, I do. But they cause too much trouble, Uncle Clifford. He like, I know, trust me, I, I, I know Elise, but I just really got to keep them around because they make the money on the side too. And she's just like, what money on the side? He's just like, you don't even know, huh? She's like, no. He like, you know, one of them, you know, be, 
stripping, you know, she strips outside of the club. She don't be selling no coochie now like your friend. And he, she just like, first of all, Kalia is not my friend. So, therefore, I didn't know she was selling coochie. This is my first time hearing that. And he just yeah. like, you knew oh, she was selling. And she yeah. like, no, I didn't. And Boy, again, I tell you, that's back. not my well, friend, Uncle well, Clifford. Guys. That's your friend. You decided to hire her because you yes. thought she was all nice and sweet. <laughs> and he just like, okay, whatever you insist. But they do private, you know, they do private dances at different Chad parties and stuff. Games. And they be bringing extra money. So he just like, you know, God, that's what they do on the side. <laughs> and they do bring home extra. And she's just like, oh, okay. He's like, you know, I do, you know, if you ever want to do, like, bartending on the side for me, just let me know. She's just like, I have to think about Uncle Clifford because let me tell y'all, let me tell you, people look crazy, okay? <laughs> she had to say it like that. People are insane, and, you know, I don't know if I can get jiggy with that. But hold on, y'all. I'm uh, getting them something to drink, so hold up. But, yeah, she just like, people crazy, so I don't know. But I really think about it. He like, yeah, they be, you know, when we have little private parties, you are definitely more than welcome to be the, bar the bartender at any time because, you know, they don't be having bartenders. They just be doing, you know, bring your own drinks. But I feel like I should start charging and say I got a private, you know, bartender on the side. She just like, you just trying to make some more money, Uncle Clifford. He just like, of course, you know, I'm all about it. So... She's just like, okay, so I'm really glad that we are having this talk because I seriously need to talk to you. She's like, I don't know what's going on, but I think that you need to know some things. And he's just like, okay, well, lay it on me. She's like, okay, well, they had a man that came into the club. He had on all pink, and he was looking specifically for you. He didn't say his name. He didn't say nothing. He just was oh, like, I heard about this club, and I heard about Uncle Clifford. And I just want to know who I Uncle know? Clifford is. I want to get to know him a little uh -huh, bit more. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just want to see, you know, run some business stuff with him. And he's just like, now, you know, one thing about me, I don't do business with nobody when it comes to the Players Club. She's like, no, I know you don't. That's why I had to pull you to the side and let you know. Now, he did tip some of the, what the? Oh, my God, she needs to be fired. But she like, you know, he did tip some of the dancers. He did give some money on the extra side. He said, what you mean he got some money on the extra side? She's just like, look, I'm not here to tell you this, and I'm not here to be messy. But he did give one of your dancers $3,000, and he took her on a date. He just like, who? She's just like, I don't want to tell you because, Uncle Clifford, I don't want you to get mad. He's like, nah. I'm not going to get mad, but that's going to let me know who was looking for me. She's like, ugh, okay. Uh, it was Kalia. Fina. Kalia was the one who went out on a date with him. She uh, told everybody no. in the club, and Vinica. you might need to look into that. <sighs> He's like, that heifer there always uh. doing something she ain't supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. And she's just like, <laughs> I know, but Short that's me. your favorite. She's Shook the one who be too. bringing all the superstars uh -huh. in. So, I don't know how she snagged him. Please don't drop our food. Please don't drop our food. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, back to what I was saying, y'all. I had to use the restroom. But she's basically telling him the tea. Like, what's going on? Like, who he needs to talk to directly? Because, you know, as y'all can see, she really don't talk to the other girls like that. Like, yeah, she talked to Catherine, to Misty, and sometimes Junie, but the person that she talks to on a daily basis is Catherine. She does live with Misty because they are cousins. So, you know, she got to talk. She got to talk to her when she, you know, because they live together and then they work together. So Uncle Clifford's just like, I can't believe all of this that you're telling me. Like, I believe you, but this is just really crazy. She's just like, I know. Again, I did want to alarm you about what's going on, but that's what's oh, happening. Oh, oh. You definitely need to talk to Kalia because she's doing some some sneaky stuff on the side. And for that man to be coming up and asking about yeah. you, I don't know. You need to talk to her. <laughs> He's just like, oh, I definitely Dang. will talk to her because I need to know who she got up in the... This is the second time she done dropped some food. She needs to get it together. They need to... Oh, yes. Look at that girl looking at her like, come on now. Like, this don't make no sense. Oh, She's so you. mad. So, Uncle Clifford's just like, 
Okay, well, we're going to have to finish this up because I definitely need yeah. to call Kalia and I need to ask her what's going on. She's just like, look, don't say I told you anything. Uh -huh. You know, I'm your ears and your eyes, but they don't know I'm your ears and eyes. So, you know, oh, just make sure, you. you know, you don't let nobody know what's going on. He's like, now, nah, girl, you know, I ain't going to tell nobody that you, you know, you've been on the lookout for me. But, you know, we just going to keep this between us. She's just like, well, no problem. Like, just let me know, you know, if anything happens or if she's lying because I'm telling you, I'd have seen it all. And he's just like, okay, no problem. So she's going to go ahead and hello. Oh, it's raining. Okay. So, he gonna go ahead and pay for the food so Elise can go. And what's about to happen now is he's definitely... Oh, they were sitting outside. Okay. I didn't know. So, he's definitely about to go use the restroom. And we about to go to Kalia's house. Because it seems like Kalia know who this man is. Kalia knows who... Apparently... Who he is because he asked for Uncle Clifford in particularly. So, he definitely about to address the elephant in the room. Like, okay, Kalia, who do you have coming to at this, you know, at this club looking for me? So, we are about to go to Kalia's house. And Uncle Clifford about to check some stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. He don't be in no drama. But when it comes to somebody knowing about him. Ooh! Y'all. If y'all don't know, Asia works at that other club. Uncle Clifford doesn't know nothing about this other club. He has heard about it, but he doesn't know the people that work in that club. So Asia sees him, and she's just like, I have to tell Pinky that I just seen Uncle Clifford in the flesh. Uncle Clifford is right here. I cannot believe it. Like, she is thoroughly excited because she got to tell her man, quote, unquote, which y'all going to find out in the next series. Not the next series, but y'all gonna find out one of these episodes, y'all. It's a whole funky mess over there. So, he's about to leave here, and we're definitely about to go figure out what in the heck is going on. Why are you keeping the walk? Why are you keep walking? Y'all, my speech has been, like, really not correctly. I've been saying other things that I don't need to say. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm saying other words instead of the words that I need to say. I don't understand. But where'd she say? I forgot where. There she go. All right. We about to go to Kalia's house because he about to confront Kalia. He about to ask her what's going on. We about to see who that man is. Okay, y'all. So we are at, um, I hope I do not get copyright for that song because it is loud. Dang, hello, you, your music is really loud. Can you, like, really turn this down to a medium? Thank you. So, Kalia's just like, Uncle Clifford, you're here? He's just like, of course I'm here, because I need to talk to you. And she's just like, about what? He's just like, first of all, watch your tone when you talk to me. You know what, you know what I came here for. And she's just like, no, Uncle Clifford, I don't know what you came over here for. Please tell me what's going on. He's just like, first of all, you ain't that busy. Something is going on in the world. The news has been going crazy. But he's just like, look, I need you to tell me some information. What is going on? Kalia, please. Kalia. Oh, my God. Anyways, so he's just like, I need to know who, what man you got coming over into the... Y'all two are horrible. My goodness. So, she's just like, what What are you asking me? He's like, look, what man you got coming over to the uh, to the club asking about Uncle Clifford? And she's just like, Unc, I don't have nobody coming over to the club looking for you. What are you talking about? He like, I didn't hear from a birdie that a man came to the club looking for me and he was wearing all pink. So, does that even ring a bell to you? And Cleo's just like, let me guess. Was it Catherine that told you? He just like, I'm not telling you who told me anything. I just need to know who the man is. She's just like, Uncle Clifford, I just really don't want you to start tripping because it's not that serious. Like, I didn't even think he came over there looking for you until he started asking me questions when we went out on a date. And he's just like, on a date? Kalia, what is going on? She's just like, look, <laughs> I met this guy 
And yes, he runs the club. You probably heard about the club, but I've been seeing him for a little bit. And so he's just like, okay, so what's his name? She's like, look, his name is Pinky, Pinky Williams, and he owns a club that's in Windenburg. And he's just like, I got to smoke for this. She's like, no, Uncle Clifford, not in my house. I do not need you smoking. He's just like, look. I need to smoke as much as I can because you about to make my nerves bad. Why do you got people basically coming up to the club looking for me? She like, Uncle Clifford, I don't have nobody looking for you in the club. So stop saying that. It was just a guy that decided to come by the club. He started tipping. And I mean, I took his offer and his tip and decided to, you know, he took me out on a date. I mean, you could basically say I spundled him. He's just like, look. This is what I need you to do, and this is what I need you to do well. If you going to spundulate him, this is what I need you to do. And he like, Kalia, I need you to listen to me very freaking well. And I need you to look me in my eyes. Look how they freaking looking at each other. She's just like, Uncle Clifford, what? He like, look, I need you to be the spy. And she's like, what do you mean you want me to be a spy? He like, look, 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 look. You said the man was tipping you, right? She like, yes. Everybody tips me when they come over. I mean, there's nothing new of that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't even know he passed. Hello? Like, what are all these Sims doing? Like, um, like this is the save, y'all. Well, all my Sims decide they, that they just gonna, you know, oh, yes. go into the afterlife and meet Jesus. Like, no. I didn't ask you to do, well, meet the Sims God. I didn't ask you to do all that. Come back to life. <laughs> but anyways, oh my God, Rayshawn died too. Rayshawn, please, you were the life of the party. Like, what are you doing? Sorry, y'all. But anyways, so he just like, look, Kalia, I need you to use what you got to get what you want. Meaning, you need to entertain him, and you need to be a spy. I need you to get all types of information about this whatever Open strip up. club and i'm he she just Ooh, like Uncle Clifford, huh? i don't want to do that that <laughs> yes. is not what Ooh, i'm you know i don't want to be no spy he just like you told that Please man to come over to the club yeah. so oh. you got to do it she's Who like wanted. i didn't tell that man to come <laughs> to your club he came there looking for you in the first place he like well you need to you know what to do he like i'm trusting you because you be doing other things and i be letting you slide throughout that club but you got to do this why. one favor for me. She just like, do I really have to spy for you? He's just like, yes, of course you do. She's just like, ugh. All right, I'll do it. That's fine. I, I, I'll do it. What else you want me to do? He like, look, all I need is information about that club. I need to know everything you know about that club. You need to tell me all the details. I'm so serious, Kalia. And she bad as heck. She's just like, bro, this was not supposed to be the plan. I don't even know why he came over because I don't want to be no spy. Like, that's so stupid. And Uncle Clifford, he do not care. He's just like, you're going to tell me who the, you know, what type of club that is and all that. And every time I go over to that club, y'all, Uncle Clifford's never in that club. And it's crazy because all the other strippers be over there. I have never seen Kalia over there. So for him to get Kalia to do it, that's because Kalia went out on a date with this man. So therefore, it's just like, mm, I need you to kind of, you know, talk him out of his drawers to see what he came over to the club for, what's the name of his club, you know. Uncle Clifford trying to get the information, y'all. Uncle Clifford is trying to get down to the nitty gritty. He trying to see what's going on. Why this man, you know, is there about to be some competition? Because, you know, one thing about Uncle Clifford, he always down for a good competition, y'all. I'm telling y'all, one thing about him, he gonna show out. And then his girls make a lot of money as is. So he just like, if your female's not bringing it, then what are you doing? It ain't no competition if the stitches ain't getting it. Like, come on now. Your stitches gotta be A1. And you trying to get in competition with me? Man, it, it's, it's about to be crazy, y'all. So, he told Kalia, he just like, you know, he about to tell, he about to call her, matter of fact. And he about to tell her, 
don't think because I left that house, I ain't calling uh, to check on you. She just like, Uncle Clifford. He like, I'm telling yes. you, you better get see. on it. Because uh -huh. <laughs> we need to figure out who trying to plot on us and who this is trying to be better than the Players Club. Because can't nobody do it better than Uncle Clifford. And she's like, all right, I got you. Like, let me be. I got company coming over. He like, all right. Now, bye now. I got some stuff to do. So, <laughs> he about to hang up the phone with her, y'all. And he about to go ahead and eat. And I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this up. Because this episode was actually pretty funny. Um, Y'all didn't see much of Diamond. Only because, you know, Diamond really be in her own world. And... I didn't want too much to kind of overlap when, you know, in the in their intros because I don't want so much to open up because it's going to open up in the series. So, that's what's happening with that, y'all. But have no fear. After this, y'all about to get a whole-fledged series. It's about to be back-to-back. -back. Probably wait till it's hell. Play this club with some other stuff going back-to-back, y'all. But that's going to be it, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end it right here because... It's a lot of stuff that has to uh, open up, basically. Like, Elise was really, you know, trying to be, trying to let her boss know, look, this is what's happening. And Uncle Clifford is not about to have that. And now, you know, with Diamond raising her little sister, ain't no telling what's going to happen. As you can see, uh, her mom's co-worker pulled up to the god darn establishment where the kids did and doing all that prostitution and it really really just made her think of her mom and it made her freak out and she was just like let me remove myself and my sister out of this situation so probably next episode who depending on who i go and bother y'all will probably see that i don't know who i'm going to bother again I'm doing like I'm doing to wait next hell. I'm just jumping from house to house seeing who I could irritate. But next episode is definitely about to be one for the books, y'all. So please make sure y'all watch out. Because now we about to open the pages of these strippers. And y'all about to see the craziness that's behind the the behind the strippers, what they go through. Like literally, y'all already see what Catherine go through. Y'all already see what Junie got going on. Y'all see what Kalia do on the side. Y'all see what Di what Diamond wants to do, but y'all haven't seen what's going on behind closed doors with Diamond. Her mother, yes, she's a crackhead. Yes, she's a prostitute. But what else is really going on with Diamond? We don't know. But that's it, you guys. I love y'all so much. Make sure y'all hit the like, comment, subscribe button so you can be a part of the Chucky family. And also hit that notification button so you can get what I am posting. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next, the very first episode of Players Club the LP. Bye, you guys.